I've actually got a bit of a confession to make. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick video just to let everyone know what I've been up to and keep you all updated. So I've been focusing most of my time on match betting and the casino bonuses and that's bringing in a nice steady income of around about £100 a day as predicted. So I'm totally happy with the way that's working and that's why I'm focusing most of my time on that at the moment, to bring in my money and keep building my bank. The one thing that's taken a bit of a backseat is the flipping old furniture. Now I still stand by that as a really good business idea and it's a way of generating income out of almost having nothing. But it's really time consuming and it's taking up too much of my time because you've got to go and look for the furniture that's being given away for free, you've got to go and collect it, then you've got to go and clean it up, you've got to post it online. So I think I underestimated how much time that was going to take. Um, but I still think it's a great business idea and it's a, it's a great way of making money. But I think the match betting is just a much better return on investment. So the extra time that I'm spending on the flipping furniture could, could be focused on the match betting and I could earn the same amount of money if not more by doing that. So that's why I've given, I put that to the side for the time being. The rest of my time has been focused on Amazon. So if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I plan to sell, sell items using Amazon FBA. And that's a system where you choose a product, a supplier, and then that supplier sends the product straight to Amazon's warehouse, and then Amazon will send out that product on your behalf. I think Amazon FBA is a great business model, so I've been doing loads of research and reading up and watching videos to find out exactly how it works and so I can make the most of it. One thing I've found is it's, it's about finding the right product. And if you can find the right product, you can do really well with it. And obviously, you have to go to supplier and buy a chunk of, of products, send them to the warehouse. So it's a bit of an investment, so you need to make sure you're finding the right product. So what I've decided to do first of all, so I can test out Amazon and see what's selling, and kind of test out the water without, without investing all my money into one product, is retail arbitrage. If you're not familiar with retail arbitrage, it's a system where people go into local discount stores and shops, look for items that are selling really cheap, like clearance items or just really cheap items, Check them out online, see what price they're selling for online. More often than not, you'll find that products are selling for a lot cheaper in your discount stores than what people are paying for them online. So you find the best products, you, you go and buy them from your local store for a really cheap price, and then you list them on your Amazon store for double the price or triple the price, and then you make the profit on top. So what I've decided to do, so I'm not risking any of my money, is go around to these discount stores, look for items that are selling for really cheap, check that I can sell them for double or triple the price on Amazon, and then rather than buying up all of them products, what I'm doing is leaving them in the shop, sticking a picture of them on my Amazon website with a nice description, and then as soon as someone buys my product off my website, what I'm gonna do is run over to the local shop, and then I'm gonna buy that product and then send it to that customer. So that means I'm not risking any of my money. If no one buys any products, I don't buy any products. If someone buys some products, I'll go and buy some products. So then I'm minimizing my risk. I'm finding out what products are selling better than others. I'm getting to the grips with Amazon and I'm making some profit along the way. So then once I've worked out what products are selling better than others, and if I find out, say, dog bowls are selling really well, then I will look into um, purchasing them from a supplier in China and then sending them to Amazon FBA and doing it that way. But initially, now, I think that's a great way of bringing in some extra income while also testing out Amazon and testing out the waters. I've not actually started that yet because I still am um, waiting for my tax number to arrive so I can register my Amazon account. So once that goes through, I'm gonna start doing that straight away. But I've already got my eye on some products that I'm gonna be doing. Um, so that's the plan with that. So that's how I've been spending most of my time. But I've actually got a bit of a confession to make. So in my first video, I said that I was going to be getting up at 5am and I was going to be working 18 hour days. And it started off well, I was getting up at 5am and I was working 18 hour days, I was working super super hard, getting like 5 hours sleep per night. But I hit a wall and I just burned myself out and I've had to rein that in a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, I'm still working super, super hard around the clock and I'm putting so much effort into this and I'm definitely going to make it happen. So don't get me wrong on that front. But them 18 hour days, they catch up on you pretty quick and I was I was knackered. I was so tired. Like there was some mornings I just 
trying to drag myself out of bed because I knew I had things to do and I was getting out of bed but it was just it was it was ruining my day and I was knackered and I couldn't work so I decided to rein it in and, and make a priority to try and get seven to eight hours sleep per night. So it's working out now. I'm probably working around about 15 hours a day, 14 to 15 hours a day. So I'm still putting the hours in. I'm working around the clock. I'm not watching any TV. I'm still not drinking. I've not done anything like that. I'm putting the effort in, but I've just had to rein it in a little bit with the, um, like, make sure I'm getting enough sleep. So that's it. It was just a quick update. Just let you know what I've been up to. Um... And I just want to say thanks to everyone that's commented or sent me emails and feedback and things like that because I really appreciate all the support and feedback I've been getting. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, it'd be great if you've not subscribed already to click subscribe and turn on your notifications. I'm also going to be posting some videos, um, separate videos, on my Facebook page and on my Instagram. So if you can give them a follow, that'd be great. I'll stick the details down below. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.